Hey everyone, we have news. We are expecting again. Um, I waited a couple weeks before making this video because we've had two miscarriages previous to this pregnancy. We had one that you guys saw on a video um, that was the miscarriage in May. And I had an ectopic pregnancy in November, and now January I'm pregnant again. So I'm today I'm eight weeks, and this is past the the time frame where the last two miscarriages happened. So I figured I'd go ahead and share on my YouTube. I did kind of share it a little bit in one of my other videos, but it's not like mentioned in the title or anything as like a big announcement. So some may know, and most of you probably don't. So like I said, I'm eight weeks today. We found out when I was in my fourth week. Um, so I found out on January 5th. And we told the boys. And I have, uh, we took a little video of when we told them they were the first ones to know. And then we told, you know, our parents and whatnot. So I'll include that clip uh, so you guys can see kind of like what their reaction was. Good morning. It is January 5th. Kuma's about to go bathe the dogs because unfortunately we're dealing with a tick problem. <coughs> huh? What? You know that we're dealing with a tick problem? Yes, we are. <laughs> Good morning, mister. Don't throw things at me. Come on, time to get up. Azariah, time to get up. Come on. Good morning, sleepyhead, with your dirty room. Come on, time to get up. Come on. Come on, come on. What? What? What about it? I'm recording you. Because you're a sleepyhead. Time to get up, come on. Come out here and brush your teeth. You guys go sit down. Sit down. Get down, scoundrel. He still needs to, to eat. Down. I know he needs to he eat. He still needs to eat. Azariah. Come here, Twister. That's where I go sit down. This is how it looks when I sit. Yeah, you have high waters on. Yeah, they don't fit you. All right, guys. So. I did my What do you guys think? Nothing. What do you think? About school. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Boring. I like public school. Boring? You no. like public school? The only thing I love in you school know. is reading and science. What about your teacher? She's great. She's fun. <laughs> She's you know what? Yeah. Anyway, what do you guys think? We're going to have another baby. Again? You play <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to say you. that. Hello, little baby. Excuse <laughs> you. What was that about? Rex. Rex. He's got Rex. <laughs> I knew that was going to again. Well, Hello, yes. little baby. We're pregnant again. No. You're not pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> We're pregnant. That means I get to eat too. <laughs> you get to eat I get to eat, eat as much as I want to with nobody saying I'm just being a pig. I You're not to. pregnant. I have to You're eat for both. So that explains I'm eating, the belly. I'm eating for three. So that explains the belly? Like that. Yeah, I gotta start in advance. See the belly. Oh, no, don't show, don't show the belly. I, I want to start in advance. Ew. <laughs> Leave my oh, fat off. So as far as any symptoms or whatnot for my fourth and fifth week I didn't have any symptoms I felt fine I felt nothing no tiredness nothing like that and then in my sixth week I would occasionally feel kind of sleepy midday like I wanted to take a short nap and I also noticed an increased sense of smell um, like if rice was starting to burn on the stove I would smell it like before it actually started burning it was weird um, occasionally also in that six week I would have slight soreness in my lower back which I kind of get that anyway so I, I didn't really attribute that as much to pregnancy I get that occasionally anyways so now last week in week seven uh, the sleepiness increased a lot I am like always tired now from the moment I wake up in the morning to when I go to bed at night, I'm tired all day long. It doesn't matter if I rest, if I take it easy. I'm just tired constantly. Um, my smell also, still that increased smell. Um, a little tenderness and, you know, the booby area. 
know. <laughs> uh, still, occasionally, the soreness in the lower back, especially when I'm sleeping flat on my back at night, I feel it a lot in my lower back. So I kind of have to keep transitioning and rolling to the sides when I'm sleeping at night to relieve that back pain. Last week I was having occasional food repulsions. Um, I don't remember what exactly I wasn't like wanting to eat, but I would eat and then midway while I was eating, I would kind of feel like, oh, I don't want this. It's even though I was hungry and I was eating and it, it tastes good and it smelled good, but it just felt like I, I don't want to eat anymore. Also, um, have to go to the bathroom more often. <laughs> I have been drinking a lot of water, but when you're pregnant, you gotta go to the bathroom more often. Less desire for junk foods in week seven, definitely. Um, not really wanting, uh, you know, the c crackers, cookies, and stuff like that as much. I love junk food. So... My husband also says that I was rude last week, so I guess I've been moody. And I have occasional bouts of kind of, not really dizziness, but just like a slight, I don't know how else to explain it other than dizziness, but I'm not really like dizzy in my head, like I want to faint, just kind of dizzy like. Maybe a little bit of nausea might be a more accurate term, but I didn't feel like I wanted to vomit or anything. So I'm not sure if maybe I'm getting very slight symptoms of morning sickness and it's just not like full blown. But yeah, so basically those are the symptoms I've been feeling during week six and seven. And I think he's in here, so let's see if I can bring him in. Oh, he already left the room. So. Those are all the symptoms I've been feeling in week 6 and 7. Um, I guess I can continue to do updates for you guys on how I'm feeling and um, how I'm looking. I haven't gained any weight. I still weigh the same um, before the pregnancy, which is 140. And for me, that's considered overweight because of my height. I should be between 110 and 120 or 125. So I'm about 20 or so pounds overweight, which my goal was either to lose that extra weight before I got pregnant or when I'm pregnant to continue working out to have a healthy pregnancy and not gain so much weight. So my goal weight gain for this pregnancy is between 15 to 20 pounds because I've already started um, a little bit overweight. So I shouldn't need to gain so much weight for this pregnancy. But I haven't seen a doctor yet. My first appointment actually is this Thursday, so I'll have more info for you guys in the next video in regards to anything happening at doctor's visits. Okay, so like I said, I haven't gained any weight, so I'm actually in workout clothes because we're going to the gym a little later. So here you go, me. This is not any baby weight added. This is just my squishy tummy from, <laughs> from where I was in my fitness. So... So as my belly grows, you guys will see that and you'll hear uh, updates throughout as well. Pray for no miscarriage, pray for healthy pregnancy, healthy baby, and healthy me. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.